yeah, so I just got off of work and I just got back home and whatever. I was doing a bunch of errands right after work and everything and I got my, um, well, what time is it? It is 8.06 p.m. California Pacific Standard Time. In case you're wondering and if you're watching from somewhere else, in another state, country, whatever. But anyways, okay, so this also means that, um, I'm just looking at the date. Today's the 26th, okay? In my last video, that whole debacle with fucking, um, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I literally just got home, so if I look a little haggard, I just kind of don't give a fuck, as you already know, okay? I mean, I just got off of work. I'm not shaving and everything, which I was doing for a reason to look like this and whatnot, but, um, but yeah, so basically, I reordered the Bevel starter kit system, okay? As you already know, in my last video, I was telling you guys that that, that was a $100 system, basically. And upon further research before I even, before I even bought it, um, I did not read any of the, um, the reviews on it, basically, on their website and also on Amazon and um, Amazon is their secondary is a well not secondary they're the other company that actually sells their product aside from Target so it's only found on their website Amazon and Target and as you already know that hot fucking mess them accepting a used system oh my god that was just fucking disgusting it's totally unsanitary and everything it was just beyond really bad um but yeah so basically so what brings me on right now is that i received the whole entire system all over again yesterday uh, well not yesterday today i ordered it yesterday and i got it within less than 24 hours basically so um, I also, so basically, just think of it as my Amazon Prime haul, basically. So, I have a package right here, um, that I'm going to open and whatnot, um, but, yeah. Hmm, maybe I should, okay, so, let me, let me put it this way. <laughs> so, package right here, I might have to edit that out and everything. Um, so, yes package is right there and also I was being very careful with this one after reading the horrendous reviews so basically what a lot of people have complained about is that the oil like the shaving oil I guess it's like a prep before it's like a primer well actually it's a prep before you typically prime basically and it is just a fucking hot mess and it just spills everywhere, it's all over the place and whatever, but I was keeping in mind that this one was used, okay, two of the products were used, not only it's, did it spill, but it also, I mean like the razor was used and that was just so unattractive and not, it was just really bad. But basically, um, let me pick this up and I gotta hide my address. But I got it right here. So, you saw it first. Um, I did not open it, as you can tell, and everything. So, we're going to open this together, basically. So, um, we're going to start off with this one. So, I saw this, uh, sorry, excuse me. So, I saw this um, online the other day because I was like, okay, so... If I'm going to really do like a safety razor routine and everything, I gotta have something that caters to you guys. I mean, like this is my, this is literally gonna be my first time ever doing a straight razor and it's gonna be with you guys. So like straight razor virgin <laughs> type of deal, but it's a safety razor. So it's the first step before you go on to a straight razor basically. But, um, but yeah. Toss it to the side. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Oh wait. I did order this. Okay. Um. This is 
the Cremo. Okay, I'm gonna show this to you guys. This was this was exclusively only at Target. So this is the Cremo Reserve Blend. So basically, I bought. I did a major haul of a bunch of Cremo products, basically. I haven't revealed it yet and all, but it's their basic product line, basically. So it is the regular Cremo line. So technically, uh, I guess I like to call it the white label because it's all white packaging, whereas the Cremo Reserve comes in really pretty... Um, that, like it's pretty it's it's pretty it looks cute and whatever um, I haven't opened it yet obviously um, so this comes with the comes with a beard and face wash number one I love a face wash because like that's the one of the best things like if everything else sucks a face wash can be everything for me I love a face wash and then in number two comes with a beard and scruff softener. So basically, it's pretty much like a conditioner if you think of it that way and whatnot. And then premium bore bristle beard brush. I obviously don't have that going on and everything, but I could, does, does not mean that I don't like having my face brushed basically. And it also comes with beard oil. So the first, Two products, the face wash, softener, 1.7 ounces, so basically almost two ounces. And then the beard oil, I'm not really sure. If it's in a glass container, I will love that. Um, but I don't know, haven't really touched it yet. Um, and that is zero, oh, 0 0.45 ounces, basically. So, yeah. This will be all opened um, in the meantime. Okay, let's toss that to the side. Now, obviously, for the major, the major part that probably has everyone wondering what's inside this box. So, got a pair of scissors. I'm fucking confused. Uh, it's whatever. Oh yeah, um, uh, I forgot. So basically, um, I forgot that this was in my cart beforehand. Because I, what caught my attention was the brush from Bevel. Because I wanted to actually try a, um, like um, a shave brush for the first time. I mean, like my dad had those when I was hella younger. Never really understood what those were all about. Okay, like, people need to fucking stop texting me. Like, bye. But, um, this is what it looks like. I will be returning this because there's no need for me to have two shave brushes. But the shave brush, um, was really sleek and clean, and I really liked that. It has, like, just from glancing at it, it has, like, um, like a like a turtle fi turtle finish basically, which is a high shine, and then it has like a satin shine underneath. So it's like in a way, it's like stainless steel blocked, <laughs> like a color blocking, but with like the tone of like the metal. But um, yeah, I won't be opening this. Um, first of all. Um, I saw this online as well as I looked at their website. So this is by Viking Blade. So Viking Blade, I'm really interested in their products. So I wanted to get a shaving bowl. I could have used like one of the saucers and everything, but like, you know, if I'm really gonna do what I'm doing, um, I'd rather just go all the way. And I was looking at some of the people online and I was like, ugh, they're putting their fucking shave brush in their drinking mug or their coffee mug. And I was just like, I mean, like, that, that's fine or whatever. More power to you. Malta top. If you don't, if you just don't have it, if you don't, if you can't afford it or whatever. I mean, I just don't understand why are you making a video and it just looks unattractive when you're doing that. But that's just my opinion. 
But anyways, I'm going to open this. Um, so I guess I should pull up the receipt. Um, how much I was paying for everything. Where the hell is my iPad? I'll just use my iPad Pro. Um, no, iPad Air 2. I just ordered the Pro and everything. Well, I, not ordered. I already bought it and everything and I've been using it and I absolutely love it. But I'm going to pull up my order because obviously you guys are going to want the pricing. And you already know that, um, that the item that I originally ordered, it's technically a hundred dollars altogether. So, but I got it off of Amazon with Prime for $89.95. But if you order it anywhere else or whatever it may be, of course it's going to add the tax. So technically it's just rounding it off to a hundred dollars, okay? Now, for the Cremo product, um, I was just lucky. Instead of paying $35, basically, um, it says that I bought it for $22.73. Now, for the Viking Blade dish, okay, I'm going to pull this out. Basically, just rounding it up to the nearest number, $20. And some of you guys are probably like, wow, like, what's up with that? But this is a luxury shaving bowl. Um, this is the chairman. And I think it's really interesting. Wow, this is really heavy. I mean, like, I feel like if I had a, you know, those, um, those beautiful cylinders or those beautiful bowls where you, like, tap it and you can just, like, make that long gong like sound from you know they're like asian whatever it may be but like you can hear the quality of this the texture it's a matte finish i like that um this is a luxury shaving bowl microscopic finish of stainless steel And I'm just looking. I am assuming that this is made in Australia because it is an on Australian. It is in an Australian brand. This is really beautiful. Um, I like the weight of it. I can't wait to use it. It just it just sounds luxurious. Just holding it in my hand. Um, it doesn't cut because the finish. But yeah, I like this. I, I really like the weight of it. Weight is everything. Because the way how men shop versus women, um, as like for men, we tend to go more for the feel and texture, okay? Because like men um, typically, okay, typically like to feel the fabric, look at the fabric and observe the fabric. Men's clothing tends to be more expensive than women's anyway. Women are more visual shoppers. Um, but, and of course they try everything on and everything. It doesn't mean that women or he, she, or they, depending on who's watching, um, doesn't mean that they, um, don't shop the same way. For me, it's all about the feel, the texture, of course, the appearance of it, and also even the smell of the object but obviously this does not have a scent to it but if it did that would just be kind of weird next on the list is the viking blade the admiral razor and brush stand heavy duty distressed stainless steel i love stainless steel my earrings are stainless surgical steel i mean my what my Ovo glasses are stainless surgical steel and all, um, like I mentioned in my previous video. Okay, let's see. Um, this is what the packaging comes in. I really like how simple it is, but it's very luxurious. Um, a crucial piece of the Vikings blade shaving set. I am assuming that it is made in Australia because it says from imported materials and Australian parts with recycled packaging, blah, blah, blah. 
Ooh, I love this already. God. Okay, what's this? Let's just tighten this together. Oh my God, that is absolutely beautiful. I hate the color gold, by the way. I did not realize that it has gold, but sometimes I can make an exception. Um, like for instance, our furniture has like brass. I can't believe they called it brass, but to me it has gold on it, but it's very minimal. Maybe I might show you some of our furniture. So, um, but yeah, um, it says Viking Blade Australia, and it has like a vulture on it. Like, I don't want to offend, but it's like in a more old school, I guess you can say more of an indigenous logo that they have. Um, and then they have a buffalo or a bull on here. Ooh, and it has like, it says the Admiral Stand. And it also says every, I believe it says this, it says one of those two lines, but in a very high fantasy script. I believe it is um, Elvin, if you will, or I forget what in the world it's called, but it's definitely very, very high fantasy. I forget what it's called, but um, I'll have to look it up. I'll I'll search, and when I'm editing, I will make like a little insert, basically. But here is what the stand looks like even closer. Let's just see if it focuses in on that. This is just so beautiful already. I love the fact that this, it's very bottom heavy. So it, I really like how brushed, the brushed steel underneath. I like that grip. And then I'm not really sure if you'll be able to see the script that I'm talking about. Let's just do it that way. But if you guys can name the script for me, whoever's watching, if you're into, um, into, I, I, I don't know what to call it, like Norwegian culture, anything that deals with like Celtic culture, definitely it's Celtic um, and like an old Celtic script of some sort, but I can't think of like, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Sorry. Um, so let's put that together. Oh my God, this is going to be so amazing. I love how, how it looks. Okay. Now for what you all been waiting for. Okay. So this is still wrapped. I'm a little worried. I'm just snowing the box just in case because of the fucking leaks and everything. It is completely sealed, okay? I'm just letting you know. Um, I mean, like, the thing about what gets a lot of people's attention about this brand is that, um, is that they, that they say that they are the first company to clinic to have like clinical study and proven that um you will not be able to or you won't get razor burn razor bumps and everything so basically like what their allergy tested and dermatologists tested now what I didn't go over of course if I did not I'm sure I did comes with the safety razor shave brush, priming oil, <laughs> that's the thing that keeps on leaking in a lot of people's boxes, basically. Shave cream, restoring balm, and 20 razor blades. Now, um, I kind of don't want to tilt it over or upside down because <laughs> I'm just worried about the fucking leaks and whatever. I just want to get the product out of there and, um, just, yeah. So basically, um... I will do everything with their what they're saying, but I will scrub my face before I shave, unlike my other video. <laughs> but I want to scrub my face before I do anything because, yeah, like I don't understand unless you guys know something that I don't, basically, about um, maybe not exfoliating before you shave, but I get a closer shave when I exfoliate. So, 
So after four weeks of consumer perception testing the bevel shave system, 96.8% of subjects showed an improvement of their skin texture and tone. 100% of subjects noticed that their skin felt softer and smoother. That's a really bold number to be like, full on 100%, like instead of saying 99.9, .9, and then the 90.90, 3, uh, 90%, basically, 90.3% of subjects notice an improvement in the appearance of razor bumps and ingrown hairs. This is a GQ award winner from 2015. Okay, enough me babbling. Let's open this motherfucker. Besides, I'm definitely not a kid's channel. I'm not, I don't care if you have kids trying to watch this with me or whatever. Um, I'm not trying to censor myself, at least right now, at the moment, with my language. Oh my gosh. Okay, just like before, when I opened it last time, it has that beautiful groove for the razor. And now that I'm looking at the razor now, unused, on any of that, it looks very beautiful, okay? And I don't smell any oil, <laughs> okay? I do not smell oil. Um, yeah, this is really pretty. I like the logo. I like how heavy it is. Packaging can really improve because everything just kind of flies all over the place. Okay, so but what's really good is that nothing, nothing fell out. This is a really weird box. And it's like, I don't, like, I'm assuming, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. They need to, yeah, they just need to figure out how to make this box more appealing be honest that's all they need to do like yeah but anyways this is what it looks like so the shave brush is in here but I don't understand I'm I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything because the shave brush is in here okay shave brush is right there I don't believe I'm missing anything because all together this is six pieces they just need to figure out like like See what I mean? Like, what's the up with that packaging? Like, I don't fucking understand. <sighs> so nothing leaked. That is the major plus side. But otherwise, like, this packaging, like, the, the major upside about this packaging is the groove for the razor. That is a major plus. But they really need to figure out how to make this more stable and then also make this brush um make the brushes holding groove better because like this is literally for a bottle okay and i'm just like how the fuck is this shaped like a bottle you know but yeah that was my unveiling of this i just wanted to keep it a hundred um, just like another YouTuber says that I kind of like, um, they're, they're kind of chill. I like the, I, I really like the little thank you card thing. And I think it's really, I think it's really nice. And it's a nice touch, but it still doesn't make up for the packaging. <laughs> um, like I'm giving this like a consistent four. I'm like, I just want, I just really wanted to like give it a chance and everything okay it's just like if you're going to sell a product like make the packaging good not shitty and everything um i really wanted to give this a chance because i because the design the packaging and everything just for everything in general really caught my attention because it, it's it's literally it's truly very clean and linear and it's very minimal and I really like that. Um, it's just 
really odd with these consistent odd issues that they're having. Um, but yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching my little unboxing of my Amazon Prime, basically. Um, if you have any comments or anything, please um, leave them down below. Let me know what you think of this. Um, also, um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. All obviously Greenbird555. And um, yeah, I will see you on the next one, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.